tip time in Salt Lake City, Montana, against Boston College. We will send you there after this word from your local station. to the final four today second round action from salt lake city the minneapolis bracket the number 12 seed montana matched up with the fourth seeded boston college eagles and take a look at the bracket winner here will advance on to a meeting with the winner of the villanova arizona game that'll take place tomorrow here on cbs in philadelphia starting lineups first for the grizzlies haskett delui straight criswell and matthews Five on the floor, Boston College, Oates, Smith, Dudley, Hinnett, and Marshall. Larry Kristoviak, best player in Montana basketball history and what wonders he has done in his two years as the head coach of the Grizzlies. First round win over Nevada. Al Skinner, head man for Boston College, looking for his first Sweet 16 berth in his nine years. Manning the bench for BC. Ted Valentine, Mike Sanzier, Stephen Skiles. A veteran officiating crew here at the Huntsman Center. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarco, the rest of our CBS crew. A trip to the Sweet 16 on the line. Boston College controls the tip. And it's going to be interesting to see how the tempo is started early in this game because obviously Boston College is a little bit bigger and more aggressive usually than Montana. We'll see how it develops early on. Here's Oates on the outside. Dudley coming off a big game in that victory over Pacific in double overtime. Smith, jump hook, rims out, rebound, Smith. So tough on the interior, sticking with it. And by design, Al Skinner and Boston College want to run their sets to try to look to the post as much as possible. Just not isolate it and forget about everybody else, but get the touches down deep. Montana beat the five seed Nevada in the first round, 87 to 79. And through the legs of Haskin, out of bounds, turnover Grizzlies. A little low on the slip cut there, but what's happening initially and what we can look for is Boston College will be switching their defense each time down. When there's cuts in their screens, they will switch from man to man. Here's Oates, one-on-one -on -one with Haskett. One minute gone by, first half. Dudley, no, contested shot out on the perimeter. Dalui the rebound. Here's Matthews pushing for Montana. Early offense, straight got off to the great start against Nevada. And it's blocked on the inside. He didn't see that against the Wolfpack. He sure didn't. He didn't see Smith either, just then, who came from the weak side to get him that trip. On a skip pass, Marshall using the window on a three. And in speaking with Larry Kristoviak before the game, coach of Montana, he basically said, Ian, that he wants to, he's hoping for a quick start. He wants his team to get a ball to go through the hoop just so they can have collective confidence. And there's the cut. Andrew straight on the finish. Not a bad guy to get the ball to. He had the last shot blocked, but it didn't deter him that trip. A 62% shooter on the season. He's very nifty around the goal. Straight had 22 points, seven assists in that first round victory. Crossover, they double up on Smith. Good help down deep. And a three second call. Right now, let's take a look at the keys to the game. Spinarco spotlight. Well, about Montana, they played like the Grizzlies in the first round. Will they be tough enough or will they turn into gentle Ben? We just touched on Andrew Strait. He was 9 for 16 in the first one. He has to continue to go to the hoop. And from the BC perspective, hit it and a little side of Rice. Tyrese Rice coming off the bench really gives them a nice energy boost. And we'll see when he gets into the game if he changes the tempo. That's very witty, Jim. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here's the dub down. Turn around. Criswell, no. And the weak side rebound to Smith, the super senior out of L.A., California for B.C. And it sets up the offense. A 5-2 Eagles lead. They fell to a 12 seed last year in the second round in Cleveland. A great game against UW-Milwaukee. Watchman Montana really pack it in down deep. Three and four guys. He's got range. Oates rims out on a long ball. Marshall and Criswell, and Criswell called on the foul. 
Now, Craig Smith, he did a little bit of everything in that first-round victory over Pacific. 25 points, 13 rebounds, and Jimmy, two huge free throws. Absolutely, and the free throws are just great to see from a senior perspective. And I spoke to Al Skinner about those two shots. I said, Al, what's going through your mind there when he's shooting those two shots? He says, total confidence. I knew he's a big-time player, and he would hit both of them. And it lines it up. No, knocked out of Dudley's hands, and Criswell is running for Montana. And they're going to try to push the action this afternoon. Pull up three. Short. Tracked down by Oates for BC. They have numbers if they want them right now. Smith on the push. Dudley pull up. No good. Smith offensive rebound. And he banks it in. Well, that was a mismatch because nobody was able to pick up Smith as he came down the middle of the floor and parked himself right underneath the basket. He's so strong that people just bounce off him. Montana did a great job against Nick Fazekas, All-American candidate in the first round. Oates. The block on straight, out of bounds, and Montana will hold on to it. I don't know if they've ever seen anything quite like Craig Smith, though. No, absolutely not. I mean, he puts it up, and you notice even on his shot, the bodies from Montana are kind of bouncing off him, even when he's shooting the ball. Off the entry, Matthews coming off a terrific effort against Nevada. 20 points, 5 rebounds from the point guard position. Down low, straight. Wow, is he getting collapsed on, isn't he? And a travel against Oates. Now, what Straight's going to have to do, Ian, he's going to have to recognize that he's being doubled and triple teamed. Obviously, from Montana's standpoint, they want to establish Straight, but don't think that BC and Al Skinner didn't look at any game tape. Mm. They know exactly what they're trying to do, so well, you got to spread it out a little bit. Those old-school post moves worked in the first round. <laughs> so far, every shot has been contested from Andrew Straight. Well, a little longer and stronger is defensively for Boston College is playing a factor on Straight's game right now, but I would continue to think he's going to keep keep attacking. DeLouis, the former walk-on. Inside, Straight, and this time he gets it to drop. Good job by DeLouis just then, too. It's about recognition. When you draw defenders to you, you get guys running at you to try to block shots. Perfectly dished, and Straight once again getting more confidence. Another entry pass. Smith denied. Sticking with it. Another block on the inside for Montana. The Louis big from behind. Haskett, the freshman, had 16 points in that first round win in a game that Montana never trailed against Nevada. Now they're going to keep looking for straight because he has that high low position. He's out outside in the corner now, but he's getting some position. There he is. Backdoor cut, and it's straight by himself. I'll tell you, this guy is quick. A foot. He understands how to play the game, and he, more than anything, he understands positioning on the floor. BC's lead is one. Just about five minutes gone by in this first half. Watch the maroon shirts. They're going to be three and four guys that are going to sit in the middle of the floor, baiting the outside shot. Marshall catch and shoot. No. Into the hands of Matthews and Montana can take its first lead. Well, they start playing well as they have been so far. Deep three, short from Haskett. And it's rebounded by Oates. They will get this crowd to kind of tilt in their favor. It's warming up a little bit, but if they continue to play competitive basketball. Well, this will be a wow. throw Grizzlies crowd here at the Huntsman Center, there's no doubt. Smith just so strong down deep. Sets up, so active, can't finish. Nice job by Haskett again defensively, holding his ground as best he can. Criswell to straight, extra feed. That's a good decision by straight to kick it out. He's on the move, this traffic. Long three, Dilui. Larry Kostowiak is over there with his fist in the air, punch it in the air, and all of a sudden the fans are starting to really warm it up. It's a 7-0 run for the Grizzlies. Six minutes elapsed in this first half. Hit it, such a calming influence for BC. A foul called on the bump. Virgil Matthews came out to greet him. And we'll get our first time out. Matt DeLouis getting involved in the first half. Montana has got the two-point edge.
This is Gary Poole, a genial guy from Trenton, New Jersey. Gary's been married for almost 10 years, but until a recent trip to McDonald's, didn't know it. Gary had fresh brewed premium roast coffee with his McGriddles, and it was like he was seeing her for the very first time. He had no idea we were married. Gary thought she was cute, so it was okay. It's like we're newlyweds all over again. Start your morning with richer, bolder premium roast coffee and add a warm, tasty McGriddles. Wake up and smell your life. I hope there aren't any other wives. Greg Clark and Seth in New York to update you on what's happening in Greensboro, North Carolina. Wichita State and Tennessee have played a dandy as they come up on five minutes to play. Wichita seems to have been the team dominating this game, but Tennessee is the one leading it right now. Yeah, they had a little spurt here with their defensive pressure and timely three-point shooting that gave them their largest lead of the game, Greg, five points. But since then, Wichita State has made a field goal, and it's a three-point game. The three-point line, the great equalizer, and just a great weapon, uh, Tennessee, Ran off nine straight points to take the lead before Wichita State answered with a three. And uh, Tennessee's done a great job athletically up front, especially Major Wingate. Taking out Paul Miller has not really had an effect. Kyle Wilson's been the guy for Wichita State. But uh, right now, we're getting to a point where every possession really means a lot. Wichita State led this game by five points at halftime, but Tennessee shooting up over 70% in the second half. Yeah, and there you see Paul Miller getting a look, but really challenged by Major Wingate, and that's been the story for the Shockers inside. Kyle Wilson and P.J. Kusnar have been the offensive factors for Wichita State. There you see good challenge by Wingate, tough shooting luck there for Miller, and then the Vols able to come up with the rebound. But one of the things that Tennessee does and what they rely on, Greg, they really want to pressure you for 40 minutes, and then hopefully there's a cumulative effect of that pressure, and you slip and get lose concentration for a couple of possessions. They turn you over and then knock down threes, and that's why they're on top right now. It's a slim margin, but the game's pace is comfortable for them right now, right where they want it. 4.42 to play in the second half of this game. Missed field goal. Loose ball comes off to the Tennessee Volunteers. And they maintain possession and a three-point lead. We'll keep track of this game as it begins to wind down. Let's get you back to Salt Lake City, Montana, and B.C. Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarco. 13.56 to go in this first half. Montana leads B.C. 9-7. After the timeout from the Eagles, Akita McLean has checked in for the first time for Al Skinner's squad. Here's McLean way outside. Well, they're continuing to pack it in, so somebody from B.C. is going to have to step it up and shoot from the perimeter and knock a few down to release the pack-in defense. Two-man game, hit it with Dudley, body bumping, and DeLuey called on the foul. So it will be the first on Matt DeLuey. And I just to finish that point on Larry Kristoviak, really has built a nice program here doing it with quality kids and these guys are also hitting the books too their average gpa at about 3.2 so it's a nice storyline for montana both on and off the floor dudley the san diego product 71 percent shooter go inside the secret world of special forces soldiers working undercover around the world the unit tv's number one new drama that's tuesday after ncis right here on cbs Second free throw for the versatile Jared Dudley. And we are tied at nine. 13 and a half to play, first half. One of the things Al Skinner said about his team in the first round, he didn't really think his defensive approach was that good. He needs to have a better focus from a team perspective. We'll see if BC can pick that up a little bit. Now remember, BC trailed by six in the first overtime to Pacific. Able to rally and then dominate the second overtime, winning by 12. Criswell, penetration, and a tough shot along the baseline. Last touch by Dudley. Montana will maintain possession. A little out of control for Criswell that time, though, Ian, but the thing about it was he recognized that Smith was guarding him, the smaller guy. Haskett to toss it in. There's DeLuy, aggressive. And a bump as McLean was there defensively. Smith as well. And Boston College picks up the personal. Get the big guys away from the floor and try to drive them. That's the key in terms of neutralizing size. DeLouis did not have a point in the first one. But he seems much more aggressive here in this second round. Dudley touches it last. 
DeLuey earned his scholarship after walking on as a freshman now in his junior year from Idaho. His cousin Dustin is a defensive end on the Montana football team. So the DeLuys are making their mark in Missoula. Down low, Haskett. What improvement we've seen from Jordan Haskett. Got off to a slow start as a freshman, but over the last month, Jordan Haskett has really picked up the scoring punch. And his decisions are getting much, much better. That little jump hook, they use that in their arsenal. Straight will show that also. McLean, the lefty. Now Marshall hit that three-pointer off the glass earlier. He was ineffective in the first round victory. He's trying to get involved here. Kick out. Dudley on a pump. And DeLuey called on his second foul as Dudley was trying to avoid him with the quick dribble and the fake. And once again, when you run out like that and you're out of control, as you touched on the second foul for DeLuey, but he comes out so quickly. Watch him go by now. He's going to go by him, but he's out of control so much that Dudley, I think, even hesitated a little bit once at the end of that play. He recognized that he was up in the air. And it draws the attention of the officials when you leave your feet that way. And he made a bit of contact with Dudley. Mike Chavez is in the game for Montana. Down low, Dudley. Uh -oh. Rebounded, Smith. <laughs> and he puts it home. <laughs> it's one thing... The way he rebounds the ball when he goes up, he's got terrific hands, but you have to keep an eye on him positioning himself as the shot is being attempted. Another change for Montana, Brian Ellis, junior, junior college transfer. And Haskett, that's goaltending. McLean got it on the way down for BC. Not only goaltending, but a terrific look by Matthews on the backdoor cut. Montana leading it by two, a timeout in Salt Lake. Violence can be used for good. What are you talking about? Justice. Kill him. Not tonight. V for Vendetta. Let it R. Now playing in theaters and IMAX. Seeing a network that connects us all. SBC and AT&T have joined forces to create the most complete and secure network on Earth. So you can create a world unlike any other. Yours. Introducing the new AT&T. Your world delivers. Since you haven't had an accident for over three years, I got you a great discount. <laughs> Okay. And I even got you a discount for having your airbags. Booyah! And because you have your renter's insurance with us, you save even more. Now you're covered, so to speak. Oh, baby, Yankee! Find me, find me. Oh! Oh! We good. Join our 40 million fans as State Farm salutes NCAA March Madness. Call an agent today. Me, buck and chicken. BK Tender Crisp Cheesy Bacon. The only way to beat it is to eat it. Want to get away? Now you can. With Southwest Airlines Internet Specials, fly to 61 destinations for just $49 to $159. NCAA student-athletes have gone pro in something other than sports. Montana, the 12 seed in the Minneapolis bracket, leading Boston College, the 4 seed, 13 to 11. Now, the big question, how would Montana handle the size and strength of BC? 
So far, so good, Jim? Well, I'm actually better than so far, so good, because they've established that they're not afraid to go inside. They're going to bang it around a little bit and go after some people. And, you know, Larry Kristoviak said, you know, if we do lose this game, what we want them thinking when they're leaving this building is Montana really put up a good fight. So far, so good for them. Tyrese Rice has come into the game for Boston College. He made plays in that second overtime to help lead them to victory in the first round against Pacific. Rice is the freshman from Richmond, Virginia. Here's Smith just discarding bodies. Hennett trying to keep it alive. Knocked to the corner and controlled by Matthews of Montana. Good effort there by Matthews to track the ball down. And, and a pretty good effort also by Hennett to come in on the offensive glass. Stewart Mays, an athletic swingman, has checked in for the Grizzlies. Here's Matthews. Miscommunication with Ellis. And an unforced error for Montana. I don't think it's going to affect the legs of BCI, but after that double overtime, you know, Hinnant played 48 minutes the other night, Smith 47, Dudley 48. They're young, but still, that's a lot of minutes a couple of days ago. This Boston College team came into the tournament ranked number seven in the country, upset with the number four seed. And the flip by Smith. He is camping out in the lane, and there's not much Montana can do about it. And that's what they do so well. They run those baseline cuts, and Smith in particular will use his body as he comes through to bump people to establish himself. So it's an easy, easy go after the catch. Chavez puts it on the floor. Double team comes. And Chavez works free, but couldn't finish it. Knocked outside and controlled by Boston College. Rice setting things up. Smith wants it against straight. Repost, Smith, and rebound, ripped away by Chavez. Matthews hits the deck, gets it ahead. Three on two. Chavez, nice dishing, oh. and the bucket for straight. Oh, a pretty little look right there, coming through the lane. Bring the defender to your chest to chest, and then slide it to the right. Beautifully done from the Montana standpoint, really making it happen in their own backcourt. The junior, Mike Chavez, Good recognition on that three-on-two break. There's Rice, kick out. We are past the midway point of this first half. Dudley thought about it. Through the hands of Hennett, takes a peek at the clock. He's okay with 11 to shoot. Hennett, the senior leader, driving. And he banks it in. Lewis Hennett out of Oxon Hill, Maryland. He has been so solid. Four-year starter for Al Skinner. 14 points in the opening round and nine assists, only one turnover. And they're a nice concentration move to bump the body first and finish it off. Ellis one-on-one -on -one with Rice. And a little too much on that pass okay. into the corner, out of bounds. Larry Kristoviak will make a substitution. Criswell back in. And now Virgil Matthews will take a seat for Montana. Montana had that win over Nevada, the number five seed in the first round. Their first win over a nationally ranked team since 2002 when they beat Stanford. Last year, Montana lost in the first round to number one seed Washington. And Smith denied on the interior. Ellis ahead. Into the half court for Montana. Trying to regain the lead. Key for Montana is to just make sure they don't have unforced turnovers. Entry, Chavez finds the open man, but Mays put it too high off the glass. Chavez doing a pretty good job of directing traffic, but he's caught now. Early offense, and Smith turns it over. Well, pretty much defensively just then positioned a well. Chavez against him down deep. A little frustration at both ends of the floor where guys aren't making the direct connect with the passing. Boston College traveled 2,400 miles here to Salt Lake City. Quick turnaround after the ACC tournament final when they fell in a tight one to Duke. Well, they had three tough days down in the ACC tournament. Mays again trying to use the glass with no success. And it finds the cutter and Dudley able to scoop it in. Well, that's just hard work. Watch the back guy coming up to look for the steal. Nothing there for Rice, but Dudley running the floor well on the left side. 
you get some opportunities, especially when you sense guys behind you. It's really a race to half court to see who can get down the floor to score on the layups. Neither team shooting it well. Montana, 41%. Boston College, 35%. Let's go to New York and Greg Gumbel. Greg Gumbel with you once again. Under 40 seconds to play in Greensboro. Wichita State leads it by two. Let's listen in once again to Kevin and Dan. Seems to even get the ball in bounds, and Miller there is an outlet. That's Patterson's fifth personal foul. Miller is in the game because he's a 74% free throw shooter. Patterson is gone. He played much better in the first game Thursday. Well, even though he only had two points today, Kevin, he had four assists and six rebounds, and so he was a factor for Tennessee, but once again, just as on Thursday, he was limited by foul trouble. Seven of eight from the free throw line for Paul Miller, the Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year. To have a big man that can shoot free throws is a huge luxury. <laughs> well, to have anybody who can shoot free throws is a big luxury, particularly when you're trying to make them at the end of the game. Now Martin comes back in for defensive purposes. Wilson will take a breather for Wichita State. Gonna find Lofton and guard him. Even out there. Three by Lofton, a rebound by Poof, not a foul by Bradshaw. 27.2 left. Mark Turgeon has learned from the best. Larry Brown at Kansas and Roy Williams. He's had a small stint in the NBA. He was the head coach at Jacksonville State for a couple years and winding up his sixth season with the Shockers down at Wichita. He's a Kansas boy. He was born and raised in Topeka. Very interesting. We were talking to him yesterday about the influence of another coach, Jerry Green, the former head coach at Tennessee, and he said the one thing he learned from Jerry 27 seconds remaining in this game in Greensboro and Wichita State trying to put the nail in the coffin against Tennessee. 73-68, still plenty of time left. 27 seconds. He's not. But he's got the Wichita State Shockers here on the verge of the Sweet 16, although there's still plenty of time for these three-point shooters. C.J. Watson for three. That's, that's right. exactly what he wanted to do. And that's a quick foul. Jawan Smith fouls Bradley. Three-point game, 20.4 to play. Bradley, a 67% free throw shooter. So Wichita State leaving some points at the free throw line right here. Watson, we said he's an outstanding three-point shooter. That was a very, very good look at the basket, considering that they were limited to threes. Wichita State, not a good defensive job. Wichita State has taken 13 more free throw attempts than Tennessee this afternoon. Well, even if he makes this one, it's a two-possession game. Tennessee still has time to get the ball down the court and get a three. And I really think that's what you have to do in this situation is get that three. Bradley is on Watson. Watson decides to drive. Well, he gets the quick two, so now you're down to the one-possession game. And 13.7 to play. With the three point game, 13 seconds to play. Let's send you back to your game. We'll keep you updated. 7.01 to play in this first half. Boston College with a 17 15 lead on Montana. Salt Lake City, Minneapolis bracket. Number four seed against the number 12 seed, and the winner here will take on. The survivor of that Villanova-Arizona game. Great second-round matchup in Philadelphia tomorrow. Matt Martin has come in for the first time for the Grizzlies. BC going to the matchup defense. And Martin connects on a three. Nice use of the screen against the matchup zone outside. You want to screen a guy out high. That'll free you for the jumper. It'll also free you for a drive. Let's head back to New York and Greg Gumbel. Once again, 13 seconds on the clock. Wichita State leads Tennessee 76-73. Kevin Harlan and Dan Bonner. Usnard throws it out to O'Geary. Ooh, and he collides with Bradshaw, who took it right in the face. Slowly helped up by Wingate. Nice job by Wichita State. That's the guy you want to have handle the ball. O'Geary is going to catch it going away from the basket. Bradshaw trying to give the foul. Really gets whacked across the bridge of the nose. So at the free throw line is O'Geary, who is 2-3 today at the strike. 
Got to make at least one of these to keep the pressure on Tennessee. See, the problem is when you go down and you make that two, Kevin, and you got to take what the defense gives you, but when you go down and make that two, if you foul and the other guys go up and make two, then you simply traded points, and with this little time left in the game, you can't afford that. Timeout, Wichita State. The lead is at five. So Tennessee working at a five-point deficit. We'll send you back to your game and bring you back for the finish. Here's Criswell on the drive, and a foul called out front. Montana with a 23-20 lead on Boston College. And this throw Grizzlies crowd reacting at the 5-13 mark of the first half. Marshall picks up the foul as Dudley checks back in. Sean Williams in there for the first time for Boston College. Back to New York now in Gray. Seventh seed, Wichita State, leading second seed, Tennessee, by five. 12 seconds to play. Kevin Harlan and Dan Bonner. The conference team went to the Sweet 16, Southern Illinois, in 2002. Not a lot of time. It's intercepted, and Kuznard's got it. Inside the moon, Wichita State is going to the Sweet 16. Let's send you back to your game. Jerome Smith. Team getting down on the floor. Montana 25, Boston College 20, with 4.38 left to play in this first half. As Boston College has established the physicality of this game, Montana has not backed down an inch. Here's straight, bumping body, spinning. And Williams, such a factor on the defensive end for BC. Oh, he's so long defensively that that's why the second effort has to be even stronger against him. Open man, Marshall, corner three, no. How did Dudley get that rebound and the stick back for BC? Well, it's 6-7, Ian. The thing about Dudley is that the other guys from Montana, there were three there, are all shorter than him. So that was the edge initially after the good positioning. Martin. Hit a three earlier, Haskett going for it, and out of bounds off of the Grizzlies. We'll get a timeout with 3.55 to play in the first half. Larry Kristoviak's team with a 25-22 lead on Boston College. Montana leading Boston College. 3.55 to go in this first half in the Minneapolis bracket. Boston College comes in as the four seed, Montana the 12th seed. In fact, the Grizzlies won their first NCAA tournament game since 1975 when Judd Heathcote was the head man by beating Nevada, the number five seed, in the first round, 87 to 79. A three-point lead for Montana over BC. We've got 3.55 to play in this first half. Boston College establishing the inside very early. But Montana, scrappy, tenacious on the defensive end. They've been able to match him underneath the rim. 
and the reason is because of the fact if you look at their field goal shooting percentage right there at 44% with 11 assists, they've basically just been running their stuff and really doing a good job of distributing the ball, getting their touches, and really I think the most important part of this game summary is the fact that you don't see it, but they're not stepping away, they're not stepping back, they're competing against BC. And Boston College is getting opportunities. 27 field goal attempts. They've converted on just nine. And Craig Smith is four of 12. Trying to do all of the dirty work inside against Andrew Strait. Coming up, singular at the half. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis. They'll take you out for a live look at all the action going on in the tournament. And they'll get you caught up on all the latest tournament news, plus a singular Naismith update. That's coming up, singular at the half. A little change of pace defensively here, a 1-2-2 two, two at the half-court marker. And then they fall back into a little matchup. Here's Rice out on the perimeter. Marshall's been struggling, searching for his stroke inside. Dudley finds an opening, and he's fouled. So Dudley will shoot a pair for BC. Vote for the Pontiac game-changing performance of this round. Nearly $150,000 of scholarship contributions is on the line. Vote now at NCAAsports.com slash Pontiac. Five team fouls against Montana as Haskett picks up his first personal. Dudley connects. 71% shooter out of Horizon High School in San Diego. You could tell he likes the contact, gets to the free throw line an awful lot. Led the ACC this season in minutes played. Barely sits. Al Skinner can stick him out there 39, 40 minutes a game. And more times than not, when you talk about BC in their front line, too, you talk about Craig Smith, but you can't forget about Dudley. What a great compliment each one is to the other. Montana yet to go to the free throw line. Up top, and a dangerous pass from DeLuey. Out of bounds. Montana will hold on to it. Grizzlies have the one-point lead, 3.20 to go in this first half. DeLuey will toss it in. One hundredth year of basketball at Montana. And what a year it's been in Missoula. Champions of the Big Sky Conference. They're pretty patient, nearing 10 seconds on the shot clock. Down to eight. Long three. Got it! Matt Martin from deep. Well, that's what he tries to do. He tries to come off the bench and ignite with the long ball at 35% on the season. Boy, is he really just stepping into it with a whole bunch of confidence. On the baseline, Dudley, no, but cleaned up by Smith from the weak side. They may start to show you something here where they may start BC, go to Dudley a little bit more, change it up a bit, and then come back to Craig Smith. Boston College, five straight second-round losses. Trying to put an end to that jinx here today. Out of bounds and a turnover. And you see Matt Martin just standing there waiting for the ball, but what he's doing, it he's thinking about it, the reaction is pumped up, but the thought process, very good in terms of when the ball is starting to approach you. you got to think shot before you even receive it. Martin out of Spearfish, South Dakota, the sophomore. He was the starting quarterback in high school on the football team, two-time all-league in that sport. Off the penetration. Rice dishing and just too easy for Craig Smith on the discard. Did you notice how straight kind of popped his way away? 6'9", 250 pounds straight was just moved out of there like he was a feather. Larry Kristoviak takes a timeout with 2.03 to play in this first half. Montana playing against the big boys and faring well. The true fan, the whole year comes down to just one weekend. The 2006 NCAA Men's Final Four. In the biggest ticket giveaway in NCAA history, only Pontiac is sending 100 fans to see it live. You have until Monday, March 20th, to get to your Pontiac dealer. Get your ID number, log it in at NCAAsports.com slash Pontiac, and see if these seats will be yours when the Final Four comes down to just one. Pontiac, official performance machines of the NCAA. Hi. No! Use your Capital One no hassle.
hassle card. Protect yourself with Capital One's low rates and great rewards. I'm so there for you. Oh. What's in your wallet? This town is not big enough for the two of us. Well, hold on there, cowboy. I show comparison rates from other insurance companies. And That's great. Insurance has them too. Can you also buy the policy? Does not compute. At Insurance, if we can't give you the best deal, we'll show you where you can and help you buy the policy right away. Yeah. Does not compute. Looks like the competition couldn't handle insurance. Need a ride? Sure. Quote and compare. Save on auto insurance at insurance.com today. Sports and Coca-Cola show how fans started up. We're all part of Orange Crush. The premier student section in the country. UNC, here we come. Ooh. 12 hours in the van. Even though we're only five, we're going to be like we're 5,000. I don't expect a voice when I get done with that game. Woohoo! We are in. in. a rematch of that championship game last year, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We are Orange Crush, and we are Orange Crush. For our Southwest Airline sideline report, if you like that clean shaven look, Boston College is your team. Lewis Hinnett suggested that the team oh, shave their heads. Hinnett the senior, and then the sophomore or junior Sean Marshall stepped in as the team barber. Everybody shaved their heads, Jimmy, except one, Jared Dudley. And he came out and said, look, uh, I just, I love the cornrows. I can't do it. I'm a team player, but my hairstyle really fits me. That's okay. That's You're the way okay he feels. Yeah, just as long as they don't bring this to the broadcast, I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it inside. Montana straight has it blocked. Boston College is tough in there with Williams and Smith defensively. Uh, Williams over the last... 10 games his average is about three per game so straight has to be very leery of going in there one-on-one -on -one versus him there's smith turning in a crowd flips it in there's just too much strength there and larry kristoviak coach of montana said i don't know what to really do to stop him from getting his 20 and 10 rebounds but they're going to try to keep collapsing but they're not really doing an effective job on him now the problem is he might get 20 and 10 in this first half <laughs> he's got 14 and 8. martin that was blocked sixth block of this first half for bc eagles in transition here's rice on a stop and go hinnett steps into it and can't hit Three white jerseys in the area on the offensive rebound. Dudley open look, baseline. And Smith, the offensive board. They can't stop him. Not only can they not stop him, they, once they get a body on him, it's really doing nothing at all to stop his progress towards the glass. And once they have the guards now starting to take their shots for BC, which is allowing the big guys for the Eagles to kind of roam around and look for spots. Eight straight points for Smith. Boom. Hard right. foul as Williams gave it to Virgil Matthews. And two free throws coming. Greg Smith is starting to warm it up again. Eight for 16 here in the first half, but really doing a good job off the offensive glass where right there you have to see him get where he was initially. The ball comes off the rim. Where is he standing? He almost doesn't even have to move his feet. He's just positioned himself so well for when it comes down. Already has the double-double. Four-year starter at Boston College, Craig Smith. Over 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in his Eagles career. Matthews hits the first free throw, 76% shooter. It's been a pretty good tournament so far for Smith, huh? 25 and 13 in the first round. So he is really stacking up some numbers out here in Salt Lake City. Matthews, the senior from Spanaway, Washington. Junior college transfer. Took some time, but has really made an impact in this his final season. 32 to 30. Shot clock has been turned off. Montana does have a foul to give. In it, 17 seconds left. 
BC leads by two as we wind down here in the first half. Rice gets his instructions from Skinner. Hinnett dishing, doubly inside. No, Smith, he can't put it in. That follow won't go. Knocked around with two seconds left. We got a quick jump ball, I believe. Jump ball. Yes, and possession arrow to BC with one second remaining on the clock. Well, Montana will take that call because that was getting ugly underneath the way they were going after the glass again. BC really dominating on the offensive side of the court. And Boston College will use a timeout. One second remains in this first half. It's Boston College ball when we come back to Salt Lake City. on the amazing race. Get behind the wheel with the teams as they speed around a world-famous test track. Tuesday on CBS, America's number one network. And Larry Kristoviak saw Williams' dunk in the first game, so they know that they do not want to see him curl around to the top of the key and come down the middle of the floor looking for a lob, so they got to force this outside. In it. Ooh, they had Rice for a second. Smith at the buzzer. Rims out. And we have hit the break here in Salt Lake. Boston College 32, Montana 30. Greg Gumbel coming up. Singular at the half when we come back. Go to the final four here on CBS. their entire lives around trucks have never seen a truck like this the honda ridgeline the motor trend 2006 truck of the year wednesday a jury found him innocent he displays a poetic sense of right and wrong a vigilante sentenced them to death these are executions new criminal minds then for one night only the beatles they're flesh eaters no wallet, no ID. No face. New CSI New York, CBS Wednesday. Don't miss Cold Case, Sundays on CBS, America's most watched network. Two, please. Introducing Keep the Chain. There you go. Enjoy the show. Yeah. Each time you make a purchase with your Bank of America Visa check card, we not only round up the amount to the next dollar and transfer your change from your checking to your savings account, we also match your savings for the first three months and continue matching 5% thereafter up to $250, which means there's a new easy way to save right at your fingertips. Open a checking account and keep the change. Only at Bank of America. Higher standards. 0% financing is back. From now until March 31st, get 0% financing for 60 months, plus make no monthly payment until October on every Dodge truck, minivan, and SUV, which can save you up to $10,000 in interest. Save on Ram Mega Cab with the world's largest cab. Save on Durango with available eight-passenger seating and the five-star rated Grand Caravan with exclusive stow-and-go. Now get 0% financing for 60 months or qualified returning lessees can lease a Ram 1500 for $189 a month. If there were a store in your town called Peace of Mind, would you pay it a visit? Across America, in towns big and small, there is such a place, New York Life. It starts with our values of financial strength, integrity, and humanity, and continues with our agents. So look for us in your town. You may already know our people, and we are confident that Peace of Mind is why New York Life is the company you keep. We have three games not in action, one game going. We'll take you out there shortly. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. Sooner or later, it all adds up. Welcome back to our <laughs> studios here in New York, everyone, for Singular at the Half. Greg Gumbel, along with 
Clark Kellogg and Seth Davis. Pretty good game just wound down in Greensboro between Wichita State and Tennessee. Take a look at the highlights. Seth. Yeah, Wichita State shot the ball well, 50% from the floor. Great job moving the basketball. Ryan Martin for the inside layup, put him up by four late in the second half. Chris Lofton, terrific, as you would expect, nailing threes. That put the balls up by one. Wichita State had all the answers down the stretch. Karan Bradley knocks down the Jader, and this guy was the man for Wichita State. Kuzinar with the three. Kevin Harlan with the call at the end of the game. It's intercepted, and Kuznard's got it. Inside the moon, Wichita State is going to the Sweet 16. So the final score, 80 to 73. Wichita State qualifies for its first Sweet 16 since 1981. In San Diego, the Washington Huskies leading Illinois at halftime by two. Clark. Take a look at the Huskies. They got off to a terrific start. Great hustle there by Jamal Williams. But it goes right into the hands of Brian Randall. This was part of a 9-0 run to give Illinois an early lead. And then Justin Dentman, pull-up jumper, were tied at 11 early. Dentman going to drive this time and serve up Ryan Appleby. And that was part of a 19-3 run by the Huskies. But here come the fight in the line. Eye. Inside, Marcus Arnold off the missed free throw. And right now at halftime, a two-point lead for the Huskies. Illinois here by virtue of a win over the Air Force. And Washington knocked off Utah State. Meanwhile, also at halftime in Salt Lake City, Montana and Boston College. Yeah, seven. really interesting game, close game. Here's when you know things are going your way. Sean Marshall, I think he called glass high off the window. Matt Blue is going to knock down the three. That gave Montana the lead. Montana had 12 field goals in the first half, 12 assists. That one was Andrew Strait for the lane. Matt Martin, he's going to nail the three. That put Montana back up top. Martin, again, this one put him up by four. But right now, a lot of Craig Smith going on. This guy's got 16 points and 12 rebounds. That's a game for most folks. Only a halftime for Smith. A close game in action. Eagles lead it by two. Meanwhile, game in progress right now, taking place in Jacksonville. Texas A&M and LSU all tied at 15. Let's take you there live. Tim Brando, Mike Jaminski, Stephen Bardo. You're in Jacksonville, Texas A&M, and LSU for the right to play Duke next Thursday in the Atlanta region. And the Aggies on a 12-0 run after falling behind 15-3 early. Law uh, negotiates the baseline. Loose ball run down by Garrett Temple. Ben Boot is on the floor at the point. Now Carol Mitchell playing with two back in the game and misses it by a long shot. Both coaches forced to play players with two fouls, and uh, John Brady getting Daryl Mitchell back in. Dominique Kirk gives Texas A&M their first lead. A 16-0 run, a 15-0 run taking place here. And they've done it on the back of their three-point shooting, three of five in this game. Dominique Kirk, typically not a big-time scorer. You see the steal right there. How about this turnaround? Man, incredible. I mean, uh, they are shocked over there on the LSU bench. Tasman Mitchell and Tyrus Thomas looking to come in on the next dead ball. Well, Mike caught it as A.C. Law and Dominique Kirk were talking. He told Dominique, you've got to step up and lead. And, really, and that's exactly what he's done. And when you see the human floor burns, that's Texas A&M basketball. And LSU's had issues this year, Mike, with teams that scramble them up and get in their face in the backcourt. There's the creativity, good find. That's just really knowing where your teammate's going to be and then creating easy offense through your defense. LSU's missed some shots from point blank range during this run. They're scoreless over the last seven minutes and 24 seconds, 11 straight misses. But what Texas A&M loves to do is just what they're doing, and that is scramble teams up. I don't allow you to run your offense. Well, and it's the running and jumping that really has gotten LSU going. They've, they've made that change. They played straight up. Davis with a strong offensive rebound and the putback. He's the player of the year in the Southeastern Conference. Wonderful story written in uh, Sports Illustrated this week by Luke Wynn detailing the circumstances of his background. Uh, so much has been written and said about this team, primarily being from Baton Rouge proper and then maybe 50 to 60 miles away. Glenn Davis from University High with a mother, Tanya, a one-time 
basketball and track star turned model who had difficulty with substance abuse had to give up Glenn Davis and uh, Collis Temple uh, his coach and the rec leagues of Baton Rouge took him in and he lived with uh, Garrett Temple's father Collis who happened to be the first African-American player in the history of LSU basketball uh, but Davis for that brand new tattoo he got to just uh, make sure his mom knows it's unconditional love no matter what that tattoo is a picture of his mom Tanya I'm sure his mom has a tremendous amount to do with the charisma that young man had we had a opportunity to talk to him yesterday and oh it's a 10 second violation good call by the referees LSU's changing up uh, the defense that time causing a turnover against the Aggies John Brady <laughs> changing defenses and Billy Gillespie saying guys that's, get with it that's your point guard's fault and yeah. uh, you know you got to keep that clock in your head and understand uh, time and space Collis Temple being there for Glenn Davis an angel in the sky yeah, absolutely Tyrus Thomas can be as they say uh, an angel as well when he comes in off the bench. I think he's really, when you think about it, Mike, a former starter, but a guy that can really help them when coming in off the bench. Monday, Dave's all new with Denzel Washington. And later in the week, don't miss Marsha Cross, David Spade, Sean Diddy Combs, and Daytona 500 winner Jimmy Johnson all on Dave. LSU, Tim, needs to reestablish the post in inside because right now Walker cannot guard Tyrus Thomas down low. And when they were rolling early, Glenn Davis was getting touches in the half court. In many respects, Tyrus Thomas is the kind of player, the way he ignites a team, he may be a, a better player coming off the bench than he is as a starter because they he gets most of his points off the offensive boards. They don't really run a lot of stuff for him. You can see he's an outstanding passer as he gets it to Davis and the foul underneath. And I asked him last yesterday, there aren't many kids in the country with his talent that would be as accepting of a role for our bench coming off the bench. Now, he's going to get starter minutes, and I think that's yes. what kids have to concentrate on. How many minutes am I playing? Also, am I at the end of the game, and he's going to be in there? But um, he said, no, you know, Lazar is playing well. I've got no problems with him starting and me coming off the bench. And a, and a young man, as you all just talked about, with that much talent. As they come up on five minutes to play in the first half, Texas A&M and LSU all tied at 20 apiece. Thank you for joining us here on Singular at the Half. We'll send you back to Salt Lake City or San Diego after this. CBS Sports presents Singular at the Half, sponsored by Singular, raising the bar. the new Suzuki Forenza. Let's go. You want more out of life? Suzuki's giving you the green light. Go. Plus their guard play is so much stronger. They can basically go nine people deep yeah. and not lose anything. Yeah, and the other guys are like starting maybe six man? Right. Yep. Maybe if six that, man. Right. Rejected! Don't you bring that weak tot action. You go strong to your mouth and you don't go at all. <laughs> Game day food. Nothing goes better with basketball than Sonic's Chili Cheese Tots. Great for pre-game, post-game, pre-post-game, and post-post-game game. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Since you haven't had an accident for over three years, I got you a great discount. <laughs> Okay. And I even got you a discount for having your airbags. Booyah! And because you have your renter's insurance with us, you save even more. Now you're covered, so to speak. Oh, baby, Yankee! Find me, find me. Oh! Oh! We good. Join our 40 million fans as State Farm salutes NCAA March Madness. Call an agent today. NCAA student athletes have gone pro in something other than sports.
It's time to look at another candidate in the singular Naismith watch. UCLA guard Jordan Parmar can drive by defenders or shoot the pull-up jumper. The sophomore led the Bruins to their first Pac-10 tournament title since 1987. A reminder, you can text PLAY to 87654 on your wireless phone for a chance to take the court with Naismith greats at the upcoming Final Four and also to take a shot at $5 million. For more details about this, simply log on to CBSSportsLine.com. At the break, good battle here in the Minneapolis bracket. Boston College leading Montana 32-30. to More to come as we return to Salt Lake. Great, another Mazda sales event. With a killer lease on Mazda 3. That thing stomped my Civic. And it's got more power and room than Civic, Sentra, and Corolla. Are we the only ones worried about all this? Apparently not. Ach du lieber. What did he say? It's the biggest Mazda's on the move sales event yet. Lease a 2006 Mazda 3i for $189 a month for 39 months with $2389 to at least signing. Because $189 a month. Hurry to your Mazda dealer for a test drive now. Introducing the miracle of fusion, a revolutionary technology and a unique idea come together to create new Gillette Fusion. Until now, pressure caused irritation. Fusion has five blades spaced closer together to reduce pressure with less irritation and more comfort. Flip Fusion over, a precision trimmer for those tricky places. The comfort of five blades, the precision of one. The best shave ever in manual or battery power. New Gillette Fusion. Introducing Papa's new Perfect Pan Meats Pizza. Yeah! We got it! Our golden pan crust, yeah. deep and square, piled with pepperoni, sausage, ham, and bacon. With a zesty new Robusto sauce, try a large Perfect Pan Meats Pizza for just $12.99. $12.99. Call now or order at PapaJohns.com and we'll deliver. Better ingredients, better pizza, and now a better pan. Papa John's. Yeah! We got it! Prize rental car for the game. Yeah, they pick us up free. Free pickup. They ought to be number one. They are number one. So if Enterprise is number one, why don't they have these? <laughs> pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Hi. Hi. I need this package there by tomorrow. Sure, no problem. Great, thank you. Less support for higher education means fewer innovations, like overnight delivery and the Google search engine. All right, let's go, Sacramento. Come on, let's go. America's colleges and universities. We teach the people who solve the problems and change the world. On CBS Makeover Monday, there's nothing like a new look to make you feel young. I got carded at the liquor store. She did. <laughs> she looks like a weird boy. Then get ready for Extreme Makeover, Barney Edition. Show me your sight! Let's do this! New How I Met Your Mother. Oh, that hurts! So bad. After a new King of Queens, Monday. Boston College up by two. Our coverage of the NCAA men's basketball tournament will continue after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching CBS Sports, our 25th row to the Final Four. We're here for the taste revolution. Oh, excellent. Let's put you right there. Come along. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. A taste revolution is brewing. No! Want to get away? Oh. Now you can. With Southwest Airlines internet specials, fly to 61 destinations for just $49 to $159. A tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS.
Introducing Dunkin' Donuts Turbo Hot. Coffee with a shot of real espresso to power you through the day. Stop by and try our new Dunkin' Turbo Hot coffee in one of our delicious flavor varieties. 0% financing is back. From now until March 31st, get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, make no monthly payments until October on Chrysler minivans and Pacificas, which can save you up to $7,000 on the five-star safety-rated town and country with exclusive stow-and-go seating and storage and Chrysler Pacifica with over 92 cubic feet of cargo space. Now, qualified returning Daimler Chrysler lessees can lease a Pacifica for just $1.99 a month. Sports exclusive coverage of the men's basketball championship is sponsored by Southwest Airlines, the United States Army, Chevrolet, and by Bud Light. An incredible backdrop here at the Huntsman Center in Salt Lake City. Halftime, Boston College leading Montana 32 to 30. Welcome back. Ian Eagle along with Jim Spinarco. It has to be frustrating. Montana's played so well so far, right. but they know it's coming inside to Craig Smith, yet there's nothing they can really do about it. Well, they couldn't do anything in the first half, that's for sure. 8 for 18 and just a bulk and pushing people around. Yeah. But I would bet that Montana makes a big adjustment in the second half, Ian, and I think that's going to be stay mostly with the zone and force everything to the perimeter as much as they possibly can. And the story has been about the big people. Craig Smith, of course, for BC. Andrew Strait for Montana. Well, Strait, 5 for 10 in the first half, so he got his touches, but Smith got plenty of them also. Started out slowly, but you keep seeing the slip cuts and the offensive glass and the rebounding. So overall, a pretty effective half and scoring and statistics for the big guys. Let's see if the perimeter guys can step it up a little bit. Look at the halftime numbers. Boston College doesn't shoot it well. Smith goes 8 for 18 to finish with 16 points and 11 rebounds. And straight in double figures for the Grizzlies. And I am the balance of the Eagles, Boston College. The other players on the floor were 5 of 20 collectively, so that's why Montana should really force this thing out to the perimeter, get it out of Smith's hands as much as possible. Boston College looking to put an end to their second-round troubles. They have lost five straight second-round games in the NCAA tournament. Entry out of bounds did not touch a BC player. And Larry Kristoviak reacting. Mike Sanzier said... BC ball. Now Montana only had four turnovers in the first half, but two of those were unforced where they just didn't deliver an easy type of delivery type pass. So they really have to make sure every possession in this half is so important. And a steal and a foul. Hit it. Called on it as Matthews was able to poke it free. And the first foul on the Eagles point guard. Well, they get it right back, and Matthews there with that anticipation out in the wing, a little bit of a lazy pass across court, and then there's the grab from behind. Good play by Matthews and the right call. And a good play by Hinnett yep. because Matthews was streaking for an open layup. 32-30, Boston College just underway here in the second half. Winner goes to the Sweet 16 in Minneapolis. Up top, Haskett able to catch out of bounds along the baseline. Very nice set there by Montana, but once again, not a good delivery. Boy, he was wide open, Haskins. was wide open going to the middle of the floor there for a lob over the top, and they just missed him going long with it. BC's lead is two. There's Hinnett setting things up. Dudley, Marshall against Criswell. Smith, 16 points, 11 rebounds for the L.A. native in the first half. Oates way outside. They pack it in so closely to the basket. Boston College does. Nine to shoot. Dudley lets it fly and hits a three. And that's the beauty of Dudley's game. He can mix it up inside, but he can also step away and shoot the ball very consistently from the outside for Al Skinner and company. 34% three-point shooter, the 6'7", 225-pound forward from San Diego. 
Taking a look inside, Haskett being watched by Smith. A hold against the Boston College big man, his first. Well, it's just so tight with the cuts down deep and a nice little one dribble towards the basket allows Dudley to just free himself up for a clean look from the outside. But watch how compact at the other end of the floor BC runs their offensive sets. Second team foul against Boston College here in the early going second half. Matthews being watched by Marshall. Nice back core. And DeLuy, the two-headed slam. Boy, does DeLuy get off the floor in a hurry on that play. A beautifully set backdoor cut. That's what they tried the previous trip down the floor. It missed hit, but a nice call by Larry Kristoviak in Montana. Here's hit at penetration. Criswell there. And a foul called. Here's the backdoor cut. Nice delivery, and look at the elevation. Boy, he went up a different notch on the ladder right here, challenging and going after it and attacking it. Call it a delunky. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> I'm not writing that one down. 35-32, <laughs> the fans upset at the call on Criswell, his second foul. And a hit it at the free throw line, 68% shooter. Eat the monkey. <laughs> Okay. It's stream of consciousness. <laughs> or lack thereof. <laughs> Larry Christobiak's team not overmatched as a 12 seed. But Boston College is capable of putting the clamps on. We'll see how Montana handles that in the second half. Five-point lead for BC. Matthews swings it. Haskett a three. And rebounded by Marshall. This is where BC has to try to get Smith a touch. Really hasn't touched it other than the fact that he's been 12 and 15 feet away. Got to get him down on the blocks. Just take your time, which they usually do. Dudley, kick out. Hinnett offers it up. And he connects for three. Boston College has its largest lead of the day. It's eight. Marshall goes for the steal against Matthews. Important possession here for Montana. It sure is because this is what Larry Kristoviak did not want to have happen in the first half. It's happening in the second half. And Marshall got beat. He tried the wraparound slap and gets called for the foul. Second foul on Marshall. CBS Sports Line keeps you close to the action with live scoring and video highlights. Get up to the minute scores and on demand highlights for each of the second round games at CBSSportsLine.com. 40 to 32, Eagles. And they'll toss it in backcourt to Matthews. Good decision there by Matthews. It's a simple thing, but let the ball go into the backcourt so you're not fiddling around with the half court line trying to walk the tightrope. High post, Haskett. Criswell, catch and shoot, block, foul on Dudley. Three free throws coming for the senior Kevin Criswell. A little adjustment for Montana, too, at the offensive end now. They're running more sets. They're forcing Al Skinner's team to really defend and keep in the action. Here you'll see Dudley come out. That's an easy one for the officials, right on the right elbow. Kevin Criswell, first team all big sky, walked on this Grizzlies team as a freshman and then earned his scholarship. Out of a small town, Cold Strip, Montana, Dudley called on his first foul. And the fourth team foul on BC, which could become a factor here in the second half. Monday, Dave's all new. Denzel Washington will be on the late show later this week. Don't miss Marsha Cross, David Spade, Sean Diddy Combs, and Daytona 500 winner Jimmy Johnson all coming up with Dave. And I, and your point about the four team fouls could become a factor. Well, that's true, but I think from a Montana standpoint, it has to become a factor. They have to play this game and force the action right now with that four to one advantage on the team fouls. 16 35 to play in regulation. DC up by five. There's Smith. Good delivery. And he finds Oates, unable to put it in, and a foul called on the second effort. So Smith recognizing that. Maroon jerseys were flocking to the area, gave it up, and Oates able to draw the foul. And watch Oates, he's just going to step right to the left side of the floor. Good delivery, as you mentioned, by Smith, but that's Oates recognizing a double team and filling the void. Off the inbounds, Oates fade away short. Haskett came flying in. 
and comes up with a defensive board. Oates can hit that shot, but not when you're fading away like that. He had a little miss, mistimed it a bit and was falling away. Inside, straight, trying to reestablish him. To Louis corner, no. And Oates grabs it. Might not have been a bad time for them to just go right back to straight once he kicked it out. Hinnett, bouncing Dudley, count it. Uh, there's Hinnett. The unsung hero for this team, setting his teammates up, beautifully driven through the middle of the floor by Hinnant there to create an opportunity for his teammate. Andrew Strait, by the way, is scoreless since the 6-13 mark of the first half. That's why I think they have to get him the touches and go, go to him a couple of times. He's been the go-to guy for the Grizzlies during this tournament run. Smith the denial. And out of bounds. Montana will have it with 13 to shoot when we come back. BC trying to put some space in between them and the Grizz. Hey, the guys are coming over to watch a game. Aren't you worried about them drinking all the Bud Light? Not to worry. Look what I had installed. A secret revolving wall. Dude, you're a genius. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Magic fridge. Magic fridge. Hey, it's... Your call dropped again, didn't it? Nope, just calling my brother to say, hey, it's... I thought you were calling him about the game. No, nope, just wanted to say, hey, it's... There's a lot between my brother and me, so my tone on those words, hey, it's, really expresses everything I need to say to him. Tired of dropped calls? Switch to Singular. Singular's all-over network has the fewest dropped calls of any wireless network. The leading independent research company proved it. Hey, it's me. I'm here with you. I'm... Singular. Raising the bar. For all the extra hours you dedicate to your students, we think you deserve some extra credit. TIA Cref. Serving the retirement needs of those in the academic, medical, cultural, and research fields. Visit us online to find out how we can serve you. TIAA CREF. Financial services for the greater good. In leadership, no word is more important than trust. You can trust Chevy, the brand more Americans choose. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. Like Silverado half-ton crew cab with more interior room than Ford F-150 Super Crew. Get a 2006 Chevy Silverado half-ton crew cab LS two-wheel drive starting at $22,990 after cash back. Or get it for less during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. See your local Chevy dealer. A Miami agent freezes. Shoot! Heard you pulled the Statue of Liberty. I didn't have a clean shot. New CSM Miami, one day. The unit is TV's number one new drama. See why over 31 million viewers are glued to their sets. The unit, CBS Tuesday after NCIS. Near the end of today's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team to honor their determination and outstanding play. Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. America's brand supports America's best, Chevy, an American revolution. 42-35, Boston College, the four seed in the Minneapolis bracket, leading number 12 seed, Montana. Shot clock is at 10 for the Grizzlies. Matthews straightaway three. No. And rebound corral by Dudley of BC. Pretty good set by Montana to get the shot they were looking for. But how about the BC Eagles going to the glass with four white shirts down deep? Inside, straight, dealing with Smith. Kick out. Marshall. And Haskett the board. Matthews trying to push it. Well, since we talked about the team fouls, Montana has not gone inside. They've settled in the perimeter game. Sometimes you have to force the action a little bit more. Take a chance or two at the offensive end. There's Matthews. Smith comes out to guard him. Matthews stutter step and can't get the layup to drop. Well, good decision there by Matthews to force the action a bit. Oates a factor defensively. 42-35. Largest lead has been eight for the Eagles. Pace has really settled down here. 
much slower in this second half. And BC continues to pack it in and run their flex offense. A lot of screens. Hennett, one dribble and a jumper. Rims out. And Hennett tracks it down. A new shot clock and a reset. Dudley fires. No. Smith the rebound. And the stick back. You know, I, that shot missed so badly on the right side. It came off in an awkward fashion. And Smith still being able to position himself and retrieve it. Is that number 13 on the rebounding column for him? It is. Woo. 18 points. His fifth consecutive double-double, which ties a Boston College record set by Donya Abrams. It's a nine-point cushion for B.C. DeLuy stripped and retrieved by Oates. This is getting away from the Grizzlies in a hurry. And this is the way Boston College plays. Here comes Smith again. Can't stop him. Wow. In and out. He is still getting good looks each time down the floor. Criswell, they need it. Too strong on a three. And a long scoring drought now for Montana. Yeah, they're finding it much more difficult right now over the last five minutes in particular to get good looks, to get good shots. They were running their sets prior to that and had a good couple of opportunities, but that is really getting tough defensively for the Eagles. Here's Oates, entry off a double. Dudley able to get it back. Hit it, driving. And a foul called. Will they count the basket? I'm not so sure. That might be on the floor. It is. No well, the basket won't count, but a foul on Montana on the interior. And DeLuy has picked up his third foul. That's the 13th foul against Montana. So straight is going to take a seat along with Matthews, replaced by Ellis. And up front, Kyle Sharp, the freshman, We'll see his first action of the day. Montana just trying to get some fresh legs in there, get a little, little more energy to try to put a halt to this physical play that Boston College is throwing at them. And for the Eagles, Rice and Williams have checked in. There's Dudley back in, and he banks it in. Too tough. Yeah, too tough and good decision to go against DeLuli just then with the three fouls. They know he's going to hang back just a little bit. 15 points, four rebounds for Dudley. Offensive rebound, sharp. Ball movement, DeLuli, book it. A three for Montana. Well, that's huge for Montana also because this was starting to go the other way. Gives them an opportunity to regroup and get some confidence. First field goal in over eight minutes for the Grizzlies. This town is not big enough for the two of us. Hold on there, cowboy. I show comparison rates from other insurance companies and... That's great. Insurance has them, too. Can you also buy the policy? Does not confuse. At Insurance, if we can't give you the best deal, we'll show you where you can and help you buy the policy right away. Yeah. Does not choke. Looks like the competition couldn't handle insurance. Need a ride? Sure. Quote and compare. Save on auto insurance at insurance.com today. What's he doing here? Beats me. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for our security. Yes, sir. Our security is in the network, sir. This blinky thing is our security? The security thing is everywhere the network is, sir. Let me get this straight. The security is in the blinky the thing, thing, and it's in the doohickey next, next to, to the, the blinky, blinky thing? thing? This is technical jargon, isn't it? Yes, sir. Security, powered by Cisco. Just sit right back and grab some tails, the tails of some tasty shrimp. Sensations now at Applebee's are really worth the trip. Saute, crisp fried, a fire grill served on a handy skewer. So many shrimp you'll want to plan a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. So join us here this week, my friend. It's time for eating good. Shrimp sensations new at Applebee's in your neighborhood. setting your sights on and when you see it will you be ready all you have to do is pick up the phone and call in your coordinates before you know it you'll have this free dvd in your hands you'll learn about the hundreds of opportunities the army can offer you skills education health care call right now and you'll also get this free boonie hat whatever you're looking for the army can help you find it Investing is about knowing the waters and where the real risks are. At T. Rowe Price, we navigate the market with discipline, relying on experience 
and our own independent research. For each one five and ten year period, 70% of our funds beat their LIPR average. Low-cost mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Request a complete prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. Let's check out the tournament summary. Big E started this tournament 0-3, went 5-0 yesterday, and that 12-5 line continues to produce upsets in 20 of the last 22 years. A 12 seed has knocked off a 5 seed, and we had two of them this year with Texas A&M defeating Syracuse and the 12 seed Montana knocking off Nevada. 46-38, Boston College leading the Grizzlies 12-20 to play in regulation. Now Montana coming full court. Rice, a very difficult guy, as you've just seen, to double team and to press. After 25 years in the Big East, Boston College representing the ACC for the first time in NCAA tournament play. Oh, great feed. It's Smith to Dudley. He put it exactly where it had to be for the bucket. A little bit of the high-low action right there. The high guy at the top of the key area and a nice lob over the top, as you mentioned. Smith stepping away and being unselfish now and letting his teammates get involved. Up top, Haskett gets the roll off the feed from Matthews. And it was looking for a push-off right there. There may have been a slight push-off, but the officials letting them play a little bit. Smith and Dudley have scored 35 of Boston College's 48 points. They're out rebounding the Grizzlies 34 to 20. And it's slowing things down. We come up on 11 minutes to play, second half. Rice, oh, he's not shy. A three for the freshman. And that's what Montana's trying to do, get him to push the ball out on the floor. But Rice, in the first round game he played, Al Skinner said he played like a freshman and got better and better as the game progressed. Bank shot doesn't go for Sharp. And the rebound cleaned up by Dudley. Look at Rice, looking over the floor, looking for opportunities. Now they spread it. And it will take a peek. Smith on the perimeter. Dudley wants the post up against Matthews. He'll get it. No double comes. Now Haskett. Rice, that's a long three. Bottom! Oh, and it's that's going to open up the inside play in a moment or two because Rice just waiting it out. Great decisions by Smith. Dudley, the big guys, giving the ball up. Unselfish basketball again by BC. Tyrese Rice, he plays with a little flair. Jump shot doesn't go for Matthews. Haskett gets knocked over, and Rice is running. And good decision there by Rice to pull that one out, even though he had Williams coming down the floor with him. And Boston College really settling into their type of game. They were going to bang you down on the offensive side, make you work, and really make you defend. Here's Dudley passing out of it. Smith. Way outside. Try it again for Dudley on a turnaround. And it's rebounded by Sharp. 9.44 to go, second half. Montana in a 14-point hole. Long three. Martin, too strong. Haskett tips it over to Dudley. And Montana has gone ice cold. Good breakup by Ellis. Montana has to start going towards the basket. I am there settling for outside shots. Martin, excellent oh. find. Oh, the denial by Williams, but followed home by Haskett. Boy, is Sean Williams so quick to react. Even when out of position that time slightly, he regrouped and made a terrific effort to get that block. As Smith took it across midcourt, a foul called against Ellis. Rice heating up. In a hurry, we'll come back. More second half action from Salt Lake in a moment. Imagine seeing a network that connects us all. SBC and AT&T have joined forces to create the most complete and secure network on Earth. So you can create a world unlike any other. Yours. Introducing the new AT&T. Your world delivers.
america's brand salutes college basketball's best the all-new two thousand and seven chevy tahoe showtime baby are you kidding oh give me three I'd do anything for delivery pizza, baby. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. For fresh baked pizza at home, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. A little help, baby. For me, buying a home is more than the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. Can't imagine making a purchase like that without having someone you can trust. Somebody with integrity protecting you. Ethics are, uh, are crucial. Honesty and dependability. I can't call myself a realtor unless I complete ethics training. Realtors adhere to a strict code of ethics, so you know you'll be treated honestly. Ask if your agent is a Realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors. They live and work by a code of ethics, and that was really important to me. They're coming. 2.5 million people who want great taste from their light beer. And they are angry. Uh, check that. They actually look kind of happy. Huh. A taste revolution is brewing. Want to get away? Now you can. With Southwest Airlines Internet Specials, fly to 61 destinations for just $49 to $159. Look at the game summary. 54-42 Boston College. Neither team shooting it well, but BC controlling the boards, and Smith with another huge effort backing up his first-round game. Ian Eagle, Jim Spinarkle. It was Smith in the first half. Right. It's really been the physicality of Dudley here in the second half. Yeah, that's the thing about Boston College. I think they're a very unselfish team. Al Skinner understands that he brings his team to play a certain way. They're not going to make many changes, but what they do do is they will isolate guys in different spots, and I think it's a clear-cut example of especially Smith, who got going early in this first half, and now they're basically spreading it out, letting Dudley do most of the damage. We will hit the nine-minute mark of this second half. Montana looking for some stops. And hit it from long range. And the interesting part, Ian, is that I thought at halftime Larry Kostoviak was going to force this game to the perimeter, which they have done a good job, but guess what? BC has really stepped up and hit their outside shots. It's a 9 nothing run for the Eagles. Here's Ellis off the misdirection. DeLouis high, arcing three, no good. And Boston College in complete control right now with eight and a half to play. And about six and a half minutes ago of game time, we talked about the team fouls of four that BC had on them. And thinking that Montana should attack, well, they still have four, so Montana has really not taken it to them down low. Denial, and the steal for Martin. They handle the pressure, get it across. Good recovery there by BC. Martin steps into a three and nails it. Martin has given them some nice life off the bench. Confident shooting the basketball, three of six from long range. Boston College is in no hurry, though, to push this ball up the floor right now. A little combination of running their sets and taking time off the clock at the same time. Combination of Hinnant and Dudley doing most of the damage, along with Rice in this second half. Smith was the guy in the first half for BC. Here's Dudley. Takes the opening, drops it for Smith. Six to shoot. They converge. And Smith, feathery touch on the jump hook. And before he took that shot, he gave it a quick look down the other end of the court, looking for the shot clock. Great understanding of the timing of the play, running the sets. BC in total control at the offensive end now. 20 points for Smith, seven minutes to play, and Boston College up by double digits. DeLouis looking inside, straight. Haven't heard much from him of late. Ooh, and that's why Williams with the rejection for BC. Williams has gotten more time in this second half, and he's really making the most of it. Another terrific footwork block to really extend himself straight, as we've touched on pretty good with his moves at the offensive end. 59-45, Rice 
again. A three for Tyrese Rice. And the Eagles are soaring now in the second half. Boston College pouring it on on the offensive end. Inside, outside, it's all working. This is Gary Poole, a genial guy from Trenton, New Jersey. Gary's been married for almost 10 years, but until a recent trip to McDonald's, didn't know it. Gary had fresh brewed premium roast coffee with his McGriddles, and it was like he was seeing her for the very first time. He had no idea we were married. Gary thought she was cute, so it was okay. It's like we're newlyweds all over again. Start your morning with richer, bolder premium roast coffee and add a warm, tasty McGriddles. Wake up and smell your life. I hope there aren't any other wives. Last year, a second-round loss to UW-Milwaukee. The year before, a second-round loss to Georgia Tech. The second round now, looking good for BC. 62-45, to 45, Eagles lead it. The four seed against the 12 seed in the Minneapolis bracket. And Montana's really gonna have to make it happen quickly. High-low, foul called. Straight is going to the line. As the help came. Drake will shoot a pair when we return. 6-17 to play. BC up big. Nothing is more powerful than the truth, and the truth is more Americans choose Chevy than any other brand. See why during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. Chevy Impala has more standard horsepower and better V6 fuel economy than Camry. Get a 2006 Chevy Impala LS sedan with an MSRP starting at $20,990. Or get it for less during the Chevy NCAA March Madness event. See your local Chevy dealer. Between my two phone bills, it's probably about $60 a month. About $150. Probably $100 bucks a month. With Vonage, you get unlimited calls to anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, and all the cool features you could ever want are included. And it's just $24.99 a month. Call 1-800-399-1355 and get your first month free. This offer is also available online and at these fine retailers. Vonage, leading the Internet phone revolution. Greg Clark and Seth in New York. Update time. We'll take you back to your game after we check into what's happening in San Diego, where Illinois leads Washington 55 to 48. The Huskies were rolling along pretty well in this game, and then there was an Illini explosion. Yeah, and it started with their defense. They've got some very strong guys inside, Greg, and uh, Marcus Arnold and Sean Pruitt. Rich McBride hit a lot of three-pointers. Deep Brown started off very cold from the field. He has not forced the action. He's run the team, and he's led them on the spurt. Well, let me pull your coattail on something. Washington Washington is in the bonus. Illinois has 10 team fouls already. Washington only has three when you're trying to come back. That's a great position to be in with so much time on the clock. Washington is smaller. Dribble penetration, drawing fouls. They've still got a shot in this ball game. You talk about drawing fouls. Washington from the free throw line is 20 for 28 mm -hmm. while the Illini are 7 out of 9. And foul trouble has kept some of their key big guys off the floor. So Illinois is going to have to be able to defend without fouling. And Washington now has a chance to cut that lead some more. Brandon Roy, plenty of time remaining, but then the giveaway, and back comes Illinois. Got to attack here, D. Brown. Boy, look at Brandon Roy with the nice hustle. Well, that's a mad scramble there. A lot, of, <laughs> lot, lot, of possessions, lot of possessions in this game, that's for sure. Lorenzo Romar's guys, they, they, they were hit hard by Illinois, but never folded. No, they haven't folded. And again, the free throw shooting has been able to keep them close. Illinois had about an 11, had an 11-point 11 lead just a few moments ago. The zone defense has been pretty effective for Washington. Boy, that's a big triple from your leader and catalyst, D. Brown. Yeah, you know, you can throw the percentages out the window. The bigger the shot, the better he shoots, that's for sure. Winner of this game will play the winner of Connecticut against Kentucky. We'll keep tabs on it. Let's get you back to Salt Lake City and rejoin Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarkle. At the line, straight, and air ball. Comes in averaging 17 points per game, had 22 in that first round victory over Nevada. 
And his first point since the 6-12 mark of the first half. That's 19 minutes and 55 seconds of game action. Contact there as Martin didn't get the call. And BC able to handle the pressure. We come up on six minutes to play. We'll give him an E for effort just standing in the way of Smith, huh? <laughs> Getting in front of a locomotive. <laughs> Traveling violation, Smith. With an NCAA-related prize every 35 seconds on the line, you can win it at mycokerewards.com slash NCAA. Al Skinner has seen a defensive effort like he was hoping for in this second round. The fourth block of the day for Williams. And Haskett thought he had a gimme right there. And it was taken away big time by Williams. Inside, Smith. Backing in. Book it. Unmovable. Unstoppable. And the thing about it is really... It he did most of his damage. That's really, I think, only his fourth shot of the half. So he's really given the basketball up pretty well. And watch Williams come across. Boy, Haskett thought that was an easy one. And, and then once again, storyline, Smith just dominating down low, just too strong. The thing about it is even with the shots, which look good now and look good in the, the latter part of the first half, his positioning continues to be great. Out of the corner, that will go for Criswell. Counting down to the final five minutes. Boston College, their second round problems appear to be over. In this half, BC has shot it at 63%. Montana, 25% since the break. They've gone two of their last 10. Dudley, the entry. Tack on two, plus a foul. Free throw coming for Dudley. Now we talked about the keys to the game coming in. Spinarkle spotlight. Go over them, man. Well, I think the Grizzlies have played not like gentle Ben, but I think they just didn't know what they were running into in terms of the physical play of Boston College. Straight to the hoop. He's been shut down a little bit, but how about Hinnon in the side of Rice? Both the backcourt players stepping it up, in particular Rice in the second half where he's hit some nice long jumpers. 22 points between the two of them. 12 off the bench for Rice. And Dudley with 12 points in the second half. He's got 20 for the game. Martin takes Whoa. a shot. Williams goes down awkwardly. And no harm done. So the updated numbers, rebounding totals, all BC. Montana having a tough time just putting points on the board, and we talked about the Hinnon and Rice combination. Right at the bottom and straight with his not really getting any good attempts down deep. Starting center, John Seifert suffered a knee injury, went down in September playing a pickup game in Montana, and that's a big body that they could have used in a matchup with B.C. Absolutely. You know, the big body is really the key because Straight has done a good job trying his best in there, but when you run Dudley and you run Smith and you back them up with Williams, if Boston College hits the perimeter shot as they have in the second half here, they've made a nice adjustment by Al Skinner. They're a tough out. And a foul called as Hinnick received the pass. Criswell picks it up. Well, a nice first round story, the Montana Grizzlies. Team that went to the NCAA tournament last year. And lost to Washington in the first round, 88 to 77. Larry Kristoviak, back-to-back -back tournament appearances. Rice, that doesn't go. It's rebounded by Chavez. Kristoviak, after that win, his phone was ringing off the hook. Former NBA teammates, so many people from his past checking in. And a great story in Missoula, Montana, but they have run into... A juggernaut here today. Tomorrow on CBS, time is running out for a victim buried alive. Catch a new episode of the hit drama Cold Case. That's tomorrow on CBS, America's number one network. And for Kristoviak, he's going to get some interest. The job that he has done with right. this Montana team in a short period of time, he will draw interest with the openings around Division I college basketball. Yeah, I think most importantly there is how quickly he's done it, too, with the success. 
Took Mike. over for Pat Kennedy. And for Stoviak's team, making a name for themselves in the 2006 NCAA tournament with that first round win over Nevada. Right. Wow. It's good. And the foul. Boston College is cruising. I mean, this is why they're a difficult team to contend with when they get that lead to try to get back into it because they're very effective at running their sets. And then all of a sudden, Al Skinner now has Rice coming off the bench. Very explosive. Let's go to Greg in New York. Boston College establishing command. Meanwhile, in San Diego, Illinois with a six-point lead on the Washington Huskies. That just changed a little bit. 4-12 to play. Let's take you there live and join Dick Enberg and Jay Billis. Go in. Totally knocked off balance as he delivered the shot by Jamar Smith. First the drive by Jamar Smith out of Peoria. Then the answer from Carbondale, Illinois. <laughs> Middle State to Southern Illinois. Now Denton, the freshman, looking for the three-point play in his tenth of the game. To climb within two. Washington uh, ran out to a 28-14 lead. With the line I have in different color making any field goals. And then Illinois couldn't miss for about a 15-minute period late in the first half. And to start the second. And they jumped out to an 11-point lead. 53-42. But that has been whittled away. And we're down to two in San Diego. So the Washington Huskies taking dead aim on the Illini. 4-12 to play there. We'll keep you posted. but send you back to Salt Lake City, where Boston College has a comfortable lead. 3.50 to play in the second half. Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarco. 69-48, Boston College in front of Montana with 3.50 to go in the second half. First of two games here today in Salt Lake City with Gonzaga and Indiana still to come. Second round action from the Minneapolis bracket. The Boston College Eagles behind the passionate play of their freshman Tyrese Rice have really taken over in this second half. BC with that double overtime win over Pacific. And, you know, Jim, there's two schools of thought in the NCAA tournament. When you're a higher seed and you struggle but survive in the first round, you can go one of two ways. You can say, well, it makes you tougher. You got that one out of the right. way, and now maybe you find yourself. Or you can take the other viewpoint, which is a team was able to expose your vulnerabilities, and maybe it nips away at your confidence. I think we've seen how Boston College has responded. Yeah, and you know what's interesting, too, with that, Ian, is the fact that I thought in the first half they may have been dealing with it in the latter of what you said. Maybe second-guessing themselves a little bit, but their adjustments here in the second half have convinced me that Boston College is hard-nosed, as we all know, but when they get their perimeter game going, it's a different look than they gave us in the first half. You know, I think they're a fairly popular Final Four team around right. the country after their showing in the ACC tournament and beating North Carolina, almost beating Duke in the final as Haskett missed the layup. Well, it's a nice combination when you think of Smith and Dudley on the blocks. Dudley stepping away, so you have your front line. Rice is a wild card, I think, in terms of if he's really on and really setting the stage, he can help them from the outside, as with Hinnick. Austin Swift has checked into the tournament for the first time. He's the freshman for Montana. 69-48. This was a well-played first half. Tight, entertaining. As Martin gets it blocked. And there's just a difference between Nevada and B.C. for Montana. Chevy MVPs, Jordan Haskett from Montana, and Craig Smith of Boston College. And to test it again. You see what Williams does right there, Ian? He forces you to do something with the ball that you're not really comfortable with. And that time it was DeLouis who had to alter his approach going to the goal. 
Rice lob. And Smith better watch out. Dangerous as he went up. Yeah. Leave your feet with a body underneath you. And, you know, it's almost that time where Al Skinner should think about exactly what you were just focusing on right there. Probably at this point in the game, not a whole a lot of reasons for Al to have these guys on the floor. Because what happens sometimes is you take too many chances and get a little showboatish. DeLui and Haskett head to the bench. Back into the game, Kyle Sharp for Montana. Here's Martin looking down low. Sharp turning, and he banks it in, working around the long and lean Sean Williams with 228 and counting left here in regulation. Well, one thing you will expect out of this Montana team is that they will play for the last two minutes and 20 seconds or thereabouts. Stuart Mays back in for Montana. Here's Hinnett. 69 to 50 BC. Rice watched by Martin. Down to 12 to shoot. Hit it, the drive, lost it. Eight to shoot. Dudley steps into it and can't hit the three. Williams unable to grab. And it's Mays for Montana. Final minute 47 here in Salt Lake. Underneath, Sharp. And a foul called with 142 left. Tomorrow on CBS, don't miss TV's number one news magazine. 60 minutes followed by a new episode of Cold Case. Then Angela Bassett and David Arquette star in the CBS television movie Time Bomb. That's tomorrow on CBS, America's number one network. Kyle Schott, a freshman. Out of Hollister, California. Another change for Montana. Greg Spurgaitis checks into the game. Freshman from Spokane, Washington. And this is the right thing for Larry Kristoviak to do right now. This game obviously out of hand, but get some guys on the floor so they can say they've competed in an NCAA tournament. And a season to be proud of, 24 wins, second most in school history. They had 27 back in 1992. They had their first win over a ranked team in the first round when they knocked off Nevada in a game that they never trailed in. The 100th year of basketball at Montana, and the future is bright for the Grizzlies program, thanks in large part to Larry Kristoviak. 42 and 20 now in two seasons at Montana. Williams, no good, rebounded by Chavez. 69-51, final minute and a half. Swift for Chavez. He'll fire and hits the triple. And when you think of this game, too, I go back to the end of the first half where Boston College was winning only by two points. Mm -hmm. It's amazing when you look up at that score right now. Down to a minute, six left on the clock. Now, there's no magic left in those mountains for the Grizzlies here in Salt Lake City. Their tournament run will end in the second round for Boston College. They've been waiting a long time for the Sweet 16. Rice the drive. Rice to the rim. And rebound control by Montana. Final 40 seconds. And even with the miss right there in the next, next game, you got to keep an eye on Rice because I think he really is. He's one of these intangibles that they have who can set a different type of tone for this Boston College team. Inside, Kyle Sharp able to finish. And the final 22 seconds. A dominating performance in the second half for BC. The Eagles' march towards Indianapolis continues with a trip to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 1994. The Boston College Eagles advance. 69 of 56 over 12th seeded Montana. BC gets the win. Good action going on as we speak. Illinois and Washington. Let's check in on that action right now.